so we're going to look at some uh, triangle escape. So we're going to look at like early, mid, and very, very late triangle. Now, obviously, the idea is, is we don't want to end up in triangle in the first place, but it's jujitsu, right? We're going to end up in a triangle. So let's first of all look at like early stage and making sure that we have a plan like with our arms to make sure that we put our arms in the right place, situation, uh, put our body in the right place, so we can then look to make the escape. So. Richard jumps up, finds his triangle here. So this is this is like early stage. I can still kind of breathe without because um, he hasn't locked up anything yet. So I need to make sure that I manage my body and my arms correctly. So number one, I've got to make sure that I'm not going to get arm barred. So I can't just place my hand into the middle of his body and start pushing away on my partner because he's just going to grab my arm, he's going to rotate his body, he's going to bring his leg over the top and he's going to hit the triangle. Or he can just hold onto the arm and even extend his hips here and finish the triangle. He wants to be able to pass my arm across, so he makes the connection on both sides. So my shoulder's nice and snug against the neck, and also his leg's nice and snug against the neck, and that's when it starts to get nice and tight. So, and also, he wants to rotate. So, I'm gonna put my elbow into his hip like this. So nice and deep into the hip. So number one, it's difficult for him to be able to pass the arm across. Number two, it's gonna be difficult for him to push his hips out and rotate. And number three, difficult for him to arm bar because my arm's not straight. So I'm going to grip onto the trousers so that he's not able to easily separate and start extending for the arm bar. So a grip onto the trousers. Second one is either going to grip into the belt or onto the trousers itself and push down into the hips. So I'm going to try for this first one to get my head or eyes looking up towards the ceiling. I'm going to lift my partner up and sit his butt down on my legs. Pushing down with both arms, I'm gonna to try to snap through the legs and push through. If, as soon as the legs open, I have two options. Number one, arm goes to the outside, or number two, this arm comes to the inside. In my opinion, always the better version is if I can go to the outside, because then that gives me passing opportunity straight off the bat, so I can stack in and start passing through. Whereas if I put the arm to the inside, I've survived the triangle, but I'm still inside his guard. So he jumps his triangle up. So number one, lock in on the hip with the elbow. Grip, hold of the trousers. Grip, hold of the trousers, look up at the ceiling so he's not able to get to the back of the head. Lift, put his hips down on top of my legs. I'm gonna push and break. Or, can you lock it back up? If I'm not able, he's just too strong, another option is to come to the knee here. Grab hold of the knee and start pulling that over the top of my shoulder, rotating my arm to the inside. The third option that we're gonna look at is we're gonna make the same grips. We're gonna come up to our feet, duck our head down. We're gonna shake our head out, bring our chest forwards and immediately Pass through. So again, elbow goes in, grip on the trousers, grip on the pants. Number one, head up, push and snap. Number two, hand onto the inside of the knee, start to pull over the top of the shoulder. As soon as we get that little bit of space, rotate inside or outside. Number three, we're going to come up to the feet duck our head down and we're going to just shimmy ourselves back as soon as our body comes out we stack in chest forwards and we create the pass off it as well all right so this is early stage when our partner's just jumped into the triangle let's have a look at those three one two three all right so the next one uh, i mean obviously there's many many different triangle escapes that we can look at i'm just showing a, a, you a few of my uh, more favorite ones. So we're going to look a little bit more tight for the triangle this time. So he shoots his triangle up Like maybe he just started to like get the arm across Maybe just a little tight with his legs up at the top here and we're not going to just easily be able to posture up and away so For this one we're gonna we're gonna look at the mechanics that he wants to finish this triangle So he wants to be rotating in this direction like this so wants to get underneath my leg Maybe underneath my arm and create that angle so I'm gonna take this hand that originally we had on the leg here, and I'm gonna punch it through to this side. Now it's really important that I go across to the far side and not the same side. If 
I go to the same side and punch it to the floor, he's still able to just rotate and I've just given him basically an arm bar as well. Whereas when I punch this one down, if you want to grab hold of the gi, you can as well. I usually just like punch it straight in here close to the neck. So when I come up to this position, try to rotate round now. Yeah, nothing. So we punch down as extra security. I'm going to take the second hand. I'm going to reach across and I'm going to grab hold of the trousers. I'm going to start to pull his hips in the direction that he doesn't want to go. So punch through to the floor, grab hold of the trousers, and I'm going to start to rotate his hips. Now I'm going to take my knee in to his ribs. And I'm just going to slowly create the pressure, create the pressure. Now, we do need to be a little bit aware of the omoplata. We can do this one of two ways. I can keep the pressure when I feel the opportunity is there. I can come in and control this far leg, take my hips out, and switch through to the knee on belly. Or, as he locks in, we grab. And once we get to this point here, as I start to feel the legs starting to open, I take a big step and I rotate myself to the far side. Just put the omoplata in there, quick Rich. Yep. So he gets the omoplata, one way that we can defend this omoplata is by stepping around to the far side, it unwinds the arm. So we just do that as part of the escape. So punch the floor. If you want to grab the gi, you can grab the gi. I usually just find like, just putting my weight through my fist is enough. Hand comes to the far side, grips the trousers and starts to rotate him in the way he doesn't want to go. Knee comes in close to the hip, good pressure down, I just wait for the legs to open. Either number one, I take my arm out, or number two, I set, rotate to the far side, I make my pass to keep myself safe from the omoplata. So last time, he locks it in, punch, grip, pressure with the knee, take the arm out, through for the pass. All right, so let's make the triangle a little bit tighter this time. Then the last one we're gonna do is gonna be like the full on triangle. One, two, three. So this time, Richard gets a, a full, like tight, locked in triangle. So again, like there's a number of different ways that we can deal with this. Um, like one of my favorite ways actually is when he passes his arm across just to continue the way that he's pushed it, pull back on the knee and start to drive through and come back to the middle. Well, the one that we're actually gonna practice is he gets the triangle locked in here. So ideal world, I managed to control this arm. If I can't control the arm, like, let's be honest, like his last ditch, right? He's just about to finish the triangle, so I'm still gonna try to go for this escape. But if I can grab hold of this arm and trap it when I sit down, it's gonna be good. Like sometimes, like if you're trying to pull my head down like this, this is a time for me to come up and I can con control the arm. Don't sit with this leg out first. So we're not gonna pull this leg over the top of the body because if I bring this leg out, it exposed, he can tie up the triangle or even maybe go for the arm bar here as well. So this always has to be the leg on the same side that I've uh, got my arm inside. So I'm gonna tuck the one leg in and I'm gonna bring the other leg over the top of the body. Second leg comes out and we're gonna cross our legs over the top. Then I'm going to start to push back, lean back, and then lift my hips to break the legs open. Now there's a number of different things that we can do here. Like this is always going to be a bit of a scramble. Like one of the more um, better things that we can do to go straight into a submission would be pass the leg across, move the hips out. We can go through into the saddle position and heel hook. But again, like we've managed to escape the triangle. So any way that I can like scramble, get back up, start passing my partner's guard, it's gonna work for us. So he locks in his triangle. Here, let's say I'm not able to get hold of his arm this time. It's just in tight. Back leg is gonna tuck in, swing, bring the first leg over the top. Second leg over the top, kick the legs away. Nice, push till we break the legs open, 
push the leg across, move the hips out into the saddle, heel hook. Or scramble, get back to the top, pass the guard. This is like last ditch, just throw the legs over the top, make sure we loosen up that triangle. One, two, three. <laughs> 